Blake Shook with the Bee Supply here. So what does a just okay hive look like in early spring? And what should we do about it? So we're, you know, this is March 6th or 7th, I believe. Um, and so we're at early March in the South, okay? So hives should be really starting to grow, but we're still, you know, four to five weeks away from split season when, when splits are usually done. So we're still in the very early spring. So this hive, I, I think it's a great example of a hive that is just okay. It's nothing special, but I think it's going to be fine. So you open the top and you know, I see some bees, but there's not a ton of bees in here. So when I start perusing through the top box here, you know, I've got, you know, a few bees on a frame with a little bit of honey. Uh, not, not a lot going on up here. I mean, it's got some, you know, half eaten frames of honey, you know, I wouldn't even call that a frame of bees. I mean, it has, it's a frame with bees, but not a frame of bees. Usually to be considered a frame full of bees, it needs to be covered two thirds on the front and back, uh, of, of the frame. And this is really just some bees hanging out on a frame. Most of the frames up here are pretty empty, kind of like this one. There's really no honey in it to speak of, a few bees, but not a lot going on in this hive, in the top box anyway. So when I lift up, you know, it might have 10 pounds of honey in it, so not a lot of honey. Now our bottom box has a few more bees in it. You know, I would say it has more like six frames to seven frames of bees in it, which is not bad. I mean, it's not two boxes bursting at the seams full of bees, but if it was two boxes completely full of bees, I'm gonna be worried about swarming and I might need to take action. This hive is essentially one deep box, two thirds full of bees with a mostly empty deep box on top. That's not bad. As long as my mites are under control and I maybe do some feeding over the next four to six weeks, this hive will probably be splittable by early April. Assuming, of course, it has a good healthy queen in it and she's laying well. So as I dig down a little bit further, I'm starting to see some pollen. There's not a ton of pollen, but there's some, which is expected for early spring. So you can see those cells of yellow pollen. You know, it's not like we have a frame full of pollen or anything, but we've got, you know, they're clearly bringing in some pollen and I can see pollen uh, on the bee's legs at the front door. So that's always a good sign. And come on, give me some brood. All right, so now I'm starting to see some brood. So, here's some brood. And if you look carefully, you will see the queen. She's actually on this frame. So she's right near the middle. So our queen bee is right here. So you can see her right at the end of the hive tool. Look out, bee. So there she is. We've got brood in this frame. We've got some cap brood and we have some larva. But notice for a second with me how spotty that brood is. So you can see there's some cap brood and there's some larva and we've got some pollen, but this brood is pretty spotty. So that's something I'm watching out for. That's the first thing I notice when I open this hive is, hmm, why is the brood so spotty? So my next thing to do is see, okay, is it spotty throughout the entire hive or was it just that one frame? Maybe she was laying around something. So check out this frame. Look at all that pollen. So we've got a ton of pollen. So all these cells are completely packed full of pollen. A little bit of brood in the middle. Okay. Brood in the middle here as well. Still fairly spotty. You know, I'm not... I'm not really thrilled with the, her brood pattern. So if this queen had a beautiful brood pattern like I would expect to see in early spring when they've got a great pollen flow, um, I'd say this hive is in great shape. But every frame I'm pulling out, you know, you can see some cat brood you probably can't see it in the video, but I'm seeing larva down, eggs and larva down in those cells. Um, and I'm just not feeling great about this queen. 
because it's not a super strong hive to start with and her brood pattern just continues to be pretty spotty. So I'm not as confident as I originally said that, oh, you know, give it some time and this hive's going to be ready to split by April. I don't actually look at these hives before I start the videos. I just open a hive and start talking. So I'm kind of diagnosing what's going on in real time. So this hive, um, I think the queen is probably old and she isn't ramping up like I would like her to. Because yeah, every single frame I'm pulling out, again, quite a bit of eggs and larva, but just not a great brood pattern throughout the hive. So it's too early to get a queen. You know, we're at early March, so nobody's, you know, I can't get a queen this early in the season. So here's what I'm going to do. This hive is pretty light. There's not a whole lot of excess honey in it. I would say maybe 10 pounds in the top box, you know, maybe 10 pounds in the bottom box. So I'm going to give this hive some syrup. I'm gonna give them a couple gallons of one-to-one -one syrup. Maybe they're just too hungry. I don't think that's what's going on, but I'm gonna give them some food just to make sure. So I'm gonna give them a couple gallons of one-to-one -one syrup or give them a couple sugar bricks. Uh, they don't need pollen substitute. They've got plenty of pollen coming in. Um, I'm gonna do a mite test. Um, I'll probably stick a uh, sticky board underneath it to make sure our mites aren't too high. I didn't see any signs of mites inside the hive, but don't rely on a visual inspection. So I'm gonna make sure the mites aren't too high. Um, if they don't turn around with some syrup, um, I'm also gonna put some complete mixture in that syrup because I did see some larva that looked a little bit melted and a little bit disfigured. That could be a symptom of a foul brood or, or something going on with the larva. So I'm gonna give them some syrup with complete in it. I'm gonna do a mite test and I'm gonna come back in about 10 days to two weeks. Uh, and if I don't feel quite a bit better about this hive, if I don't see that brood pattern getting much more compact, much better, uh, then I'm going to requeen this hive as soon as I can get a, a queen. And that should correct the problem. But, um, you know, in the meantime, again, syrup with complete t mite test. If the mites are high, obviously I'm gonna treat them for mites, but I'm 90% sure what's going on with this hive is that old queen is just too old and it's time to requeen as soon as I can get a queen.